What's up everyone? Welcome to Max Grill Shack. My name is Shane and today we are firing up the PK Charcoal Grill. Grilling up some uh, pork today. We got pork chops, we got pork steaks. We're going to go over some key differences here, how we're going to cook them. Let's go. We got our bone-in pork chops and we have our bone-in pork steaks. The pork chops are going to come from the loin area, they're going to be a little more tender, they're not going to cook quite as, lo uh, quite as long on the grill. Uh, the pork steaks, blade steaks, butt steaks, whatever you want to call them, uh, they're a little tougher, they come from the shoulder, same area you get your pulled pork from. Uh, these guys I like to grill a little slower, more indirect, and, and take them up a little higher in temp internally. So let's get these uh, seasoned up here today. I plan on using a rub here from Whiskey Bent. This is Whiskey Bent Ancho Americano, uh, Kendrick Barbecue Collaboration. Really awesome rub, great on beef, pork, you name it. Uh, ingredients here, we got salt, cane sugar, black pepper, onion, garlic, paprika, ancho chili pepper, chipotle pepper, coffee, and spices. That is pretty good. I've had this a few times. I'm looking forward to trying it on these uh, pork cuts here. So let's get it seasoned up. Alright, going to glove up my wet hand here. And let's go. Nothing complicated here. Give these a light coating on either side. Give her a flip. Pretty fine rub. You don't need to go too crazy. I'm gonna get my ends here a little bit. There's one. Roll those edges on the board there. That guy seasoned up. Right, nothing complicated here. Let's give them a nice dusting. All sides. You eat all sides, so you season all sides. Right, folks? Nice little fat cap on these pork steaks as well. Fat means flavor. Alright, there we are all seasoned up. Just going to let these rest on the counter here while we head outside and fire up the PK. Okay, we're back outside in the grill shack. Got the PK 300 here. Loaded up with some lump charcoal. Got a tumbleweed down the center. Let's fire it up. Gonna let this go for a few minutes, shut her down, open the vents. Okay, so we got the grill preheated to about 275. I'm gonna try maintain about 275, 300 for the cook here. We got our pork steaks uh, going on first. They are gonna take longer, so let's get those on here. Cooking indirect. What I'm gonna try to do here is place the, uh, the thicker fat cap towards the fire. Help that render down a little bit throughout the cook there. Down. And we're going to let those go for maybe half hour or so, check back on them in a little bit and see how we're doing. Alright, these pork steaks have been on about 45 minutes, we're tempting about 140 internal right now. So I got the chops ready to go on. What I'm going to do is just spread these coals out. All 
right, let's get these chops on. All right, been a couple of minutes. Give these guys a flip. Not going for a hard sear, just get a little color on them. Flip these guys. over this uh, lump coal is screaming hot right now so it doesn't take very long get a little more color on um, these guys a little more char you can see that fat dripping down smoking up gives you all that uh, direct heat goodness and uh, we'll put these back over on the indirect side just like that you can grab the lid set it back on and we're cooking indirect once again Let's give these a final uh, check for the internal temp. Right now our pork steaks are sitting right around 175 or so. And our pork chops we brought up to right up to 145. That way you know they're they're cooked through, they're safe to eat, um, but they are going to be juicy. And it's time to get these off the grill. Take a peek, chop number one, looking good. Got some color on there. Didn't burn the snot out of it, which is good. Got pork chop number two, nice bit of char on that guy. Looking good. Still nice and juicy. And here we got our pork steak. Nice bit of color on there, nice and tender. Juicy too. Looking good. There we go, final pork steak. Looking decent. Fat cap got a little charred on that one. But I don't mind. A little uh, charred fat is a tasty snack. And there we have it guys. All pulled off the PK. Let's bring them back inside. So we got our pork chops, our pork steaks here. They've been resting uh, loosely foiled for about 10 minutes now. Let's take a check. All right, these smell dynamite. Take a check at our pork chops here. 
looking pretty good. Got our uh, our steaks here. Let's uh, let's grab one of these bad boys and slice on in. Let's start with one of the chops here. Get this guy here. I'm just gonna cut away from the bone. Looks good to me. Let's go this way. Get a few slices off of here. Incredibly juicy. Let's pull that to the side. I'm gonna slice up one of these steaks here. Let's grab this guy. Cut it along this bone here. Alright, get a slice off of here. Move this out of the way. Let's get a couple slices. Looks good. Even got a little smoke ring on there. Pull a couple slices off of here. And there we are. We got a uh, pork steak here. Let me grab one of these guys. Let's grab a slice of pork chop. Definitely two different cuts here. Flavored the same. very tender. Let's try this pork chop out. We love that charcoal grilled flavor on there. Super tender. Nice, nice flavor from the uh, whiskey bent ancho americano rub there. Fantastic. One of the best pork chops I've had in a while. All right, let's try a piece of this steak. Once again, outstanding. Awesome flavor on there. Definitely a different texture than the pork chop. Um, the pork steak is a bit tougher of a cut. Cooked a little bit lower, longer. Uh, it, it is quite tender still and uh, I gotta be honest I don't know if I can decide which one of these I prefer most of the time I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the pork steak every time it's actually typically quite a bit cheaper than pork chops and to me they just got so much more flavor they got more fat in there and uh, I think I think today I'm still leaning towards the pork steak that's got my money if you haven't tried one of these, very easy to cook, pretty forgiving, and uh, usually very good value um, for what you get. All right, thanks for stopping by today, guys. Well, we uh, grilled up some pork chops, some pork steaks, kind of battled it out here, and uh, stay tuned for the next one where we grill up more goodness outside. Stay hydrated, folks. Cheers.